Top 20 baseball showdown with just one weekend left in the regular season. And two programs that have their eyes on Omaha. Fourth ranked Arkansas. Number 19, Texas A&M going head-to-head -head in the final three games of the 2019 regular season. And now a star for one of the best offenses in the game. A swing and a miss, and Mikey Honer will finish off the strikeout as we check out. Fastballs in a row. There it is. Chris Weber acclimates himself well to starting. Isaiah Campbell's from just outside of Kansas City, Olathe, Kansas. And he has blossomed into one of the best pitchers in the SEC. A series win would be in great shape to host a regional. Shoemake swings at the first, handled by Dominic Fletcher. One pitch and one out for Isaiah. Makes an out. Nine out of ten times. Into no man's land, past the reach of Jack Kenley. And the Aggies get a bloop single from Bryce Baum with one out. Still not going to second base. Chance for two. Kenley to Martin. And they get it done. A twin killing to close the first frame to the SEC tournament. So Kentucky living on the edge. A shot to the gap in left center. And an out of the glove of the left fielder, Cam Blake. And Christian Franklin stops at second with a double to the gap. Breaking ball flicked into center, and it's going to drop in front of Deloach. Franklin will stop at third. Back-to-back -back hits for the Razorbacks. Payoff. Ripped high and deep to left field. If it's fair, it's way gone. It is both a three-run shot for Trevor Ezell. And Arkansas slugs its way to a third-inning lead. strike he tried to challenge him stayed right out over the plate and Izell knew it as soon as he hit it with one swing of the bat second time around the lineup Vandy now leads Kentucky nine nothing in the fourth series is a four-year-old swing and a miss for Foster three strikeouts for Isaiah with maturity he'll end up pulling breaking ball hammered up the middle Kerstad, top 10 in the SEC in slugging hits, total bases, and home runs. To the left side, off of the glove of Coleman. Can't recover in time to make a play. Back behind the runner, and nearly got Kerstad off the bag. First pitch swinging into center. Deloach drifts and handles it for the third out. I just would love to hear your thoughts on the value of experience as Shoemaker lines one to left. The value of experience in college baseball, not just line left side through. Franklin over to scoop it up. Shoemake hustling to third, a head first slide, and that will give an extra base to the man behind the ball. And the Aggies in business with nobody out in the fourth. Dixie Chicken's famous for a reason. Off speed and buckled the knees of Zach Deloach. Squeeze, Campbell shovel, too late. And safe at home is Shoemake. Aggies scramble home their first run of the game. Upstairs, snap throw to third, gets down the line. Aggies going to get a run as Blom covers the final 90 on just the third error of the season from Casey Opitz. The bag and it got through. Opitz will throw to third, and the catch made after the collision by Jacob Nesbitt and Blake erased from the base pad. Rob Childress taking note of it, but you see where the throw was, and that's where Nesbitt was on his way to the bag. Breaking ball, waved at, big strike three for Isaiah Campbell. There's the other ball. It says no parking. That ball should no. be ticketed. I'd like to see that happen. Oh, wow. wow, it will join it on the curb. Martin with home run number 13. Oh, bounces into the patio. He was stubborn enough to continue to throw the fastball, and Casey Martin just saw one too many. He had to go off speed. Second time already has allowed these four runs all on the fastball because of not being able to throw a very effective pitch that he's had all night long which is the curveball this one fastball was supposed to be up 
stays out over the plate and once parked in the left patio, this one's parked in the right one. Curveballs that Martin has seen. Oh, did they go back to back? Shot to right. It is gone. Solo shot, Goodhart. The first two ended up across the street. That was a wall scraper into the weeds. Goodhart's second home run of the season. Weber came in having allowed only one home run in 51 and two-thirds innings. He's allowed three home runs in less than five innings tonight. Four game suspension for being ejected from a game for arguing balls and strikes last week. Leadoff single for Hunter Coleman. Wow. Strikeout number six tonight. Yank deep to right field. It is home run number four of the night for Arkansas. They've got home runs from the first, second, third, and sixth spots in their batting. That's exactly what he did. Look how he touched the man. This one left the ballpark in a hurry. The wind is blowing right to left. Not wind aided at all. Cut right through it. Today. Line drive. Base hit for Blom. He's got a three hit night. Because 11. <laughs> Let's be real, couldn't pronounce my name. <laughs> Casey <Hi>. Martin, <laughs> that takes care of it. Two down, yeah, I know you had a great trip to town. Chopper, left side, Nesbitt. And a stretch from Ezell over at first. Lead off single, but nothing to show for it. Aggie straight. Down the line of fair. Trevor Ezell has his second hit of the night. This one's going to go for extra bases. He thought about a triple. And now still no, no, thinking no. about Ooh. an extra 90 and almost get picked off. It out. It's mm -hmm. like a, just like a regular cataract and popped up. Honer ran into the umpire. Still Great made play. the catch. Great play. We'll continue that story later. Kevin Copps, a junior from right here in the state of Texas, down in Sugar Land, six foot right hander. Cops is five and three with a 3-1-9 ERA. Over the top of that one and a dribbler. That's foul. fair. That's foul. That's they foul. rule it fair. That's foul ball. Darrell Arnold has the call because the ball does not go past the bag. Watch this ball. I have that ball, foul ball on that bounce. You can't rule via replay fair or foul until a ball gets past the initial fielding position of the first or third base. Here's Hunter Coleman, so just to clarify, as Coleman sends a fly ball to center. He didn't see Fletcher it. He didn't lost see it. it, and coming in to try to make the play was Kerstad. It'll be a base hit, a double for Hunter Coleman. Dominic Fletcher never saw the ball off the bat. Getting a fly ball hit to you. Loud grounder to the backhand wow. of Martin. Two that's, down. That's the athleticism there. That's a strong arm. Corbin Martin. Rope down the right field line and fair for Jack Kenley looking for two. He's got it standing up. Corbin Martin's draft pick was available to the Astros after if a need arises. That's There's up. high cheese. Back to back K's for Jake Nelson. Shoemake rips one into the right field corner. He's looking for two. Kerstad's throw comes in late, and Braden Shoemake hustles his way into a two base hit. Sharply hit to first. Ezell played it off the belt buckle. Emptied onto Simmons Field. Frustrating season for Florida. Clean single, Zach Deloach on the first pitch, and that will drive home Braden Shoemake. Jacob Cossey shot from just outside of St. Louis, so Fallon, Missouri, 6-4 right-hander. One and two on the season, a two and a half ERA right. single in the fourth. Jumped on the first pitch from Cossey shot and nearly took his hat off. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Cossey shot with a big K, and the Aggies get a run in the eighth. But on three hits, they leave two stranded to the ninth we go. 
something like that. Good long tangle there. And it's barreled to left center. And it's gone again. Arkansas has hit five home runs tonight, just like they did the opening the series against LSU a week ago. And Casey Martin has done it twice. KC Martin showing the bat speed. Cronin on. Try to nail it down. 6 2 lefty from Navarre, Florida. Just like we saw Isaiah Campbell straight over the top. Matt Cronin has a lead spin rate. Well hit. Deep right. Handled by Kerstad. You ever seen a broken cup? Not that kind of cup. Through the left side and a base hit for Foster. What did she think you were going to do with it? I don't know, but let's get back to the SEC. New rule for the final series of the regular season if there is something on the line. And there certainly be a lot on the line for both. Sky to right, two down. In left center. And this one won't quite make it there. Fletcher lost it again, recovered at the apex, and is able to haul it in for the final out. Arkansas takes game one of the series, seven to three. And Isaiah Campbell gets win number 10 as Arkansas knocks off AM seven to three.